Today is World Children's Day and I'd like to take this opportunity as Jersey's Children's Minister to thank you, the children and young people in this island, for raising to the challenges presented this year. COVID-19 has turned our lives upside down, but you have shown just how strong and resilient you all are. From lifting spirits through the rainbow days to adapting to new ways of learning from home when schools were closed earlier this year. You have also been so accepting of the new rules and restrictions to help keep you safe and being so understanding when events such as school trips or parties have been cancelled. We also have a lot of young people studying overseas who we know are anxious given the uncertainties. The Gouvernement de Géry are working hard to help many of you return home safely to be with your friends and families for Christmas. I would like to pay tribute to you too and thank you for your patience. On World Children's Day, I would also like to thank everyone working with children and families in such a flexible way to keep children and young people safe throughout the pandemic. From teaching, school, nursery and college staff to social workers, care workers, the youth service, student and skill services, police officers and healthcare staff. This year has been unprecedented and in a changing year for some of our services that work with children and young people and our staff have shown some excellent examples of leadership by going the extra mile. On Friday the 20th of November, countries around the globe are celebrating World Children's Day, the anniversary of the adoption of the Convention of the Rights of the Child. It's a day for children by children, a day to imagine a better future for every child. Jersey takes children's rights seriously. We signed up to the UNCRC in 2014 and we are now on a journey to progressively realise every right for every child and teaching children about their responsibilities. In addition to the highly successful Rights Respecting Schools programme, we will soon have a youth parliament and that will complement and enhance the Schools Council network to ensure children and young people have a range of ways to make their voices heard, especially to members of the State's Assembly. The school survey showed dramatic increase in children's awareness of their rights, which shows the success of, right, of the Rights Respecting Schools programme. Earlier this year, we carried out a survey with the Children's Commissioner's Office. More than 2,100 children and young people shared their thoughts and feelings on a range of topics, from the impact coronavirus has had on their friendships, to their experiences of home learning, school, physical and mental health, and their rights. It was important to directly hear from children and their efforts they are making to try and protect their loved ones and the community. I would like to pay tributes to all children and young people who have shown tremendous resilience and risen to the challenge of this pandemic. Please continue making those incredible efforts to help everyone stay safe. It really does make a difference. This special day is your day. It's a day I want each and every one of you to celebrate your achievements. You deserve it. Enjoy it safely. Wishing you all the best for the UNICEF World Children's Day.